Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my handbag collection part two. This is going to be all of my designer and contemporary brand bags that um, are not necessarily luxury, but that I absolutely love and thought I would share with you. And I am still wearing um, my splint, so I am not gonna be going inside of my bags and showing you all of the features and talking in too much depth since that video would take a really long time. But um, I will just tell you about a little about each bag and what I use them for, things like that. So I'm gonna get started with the first of these bags. This is my Le Pliage um, by Longchamp, and I love this bag for travel. I keep this bag folded up, as you can see, and I usually will stick it inside of a suitcase when I am traveling and I know I want to bring some things back or that I want to have a tote with me kind of to take to the beach or just to carry with me when I'm going shopping things like that so um, that is my Le Pliage. The next handbags in my collection are all the same bag and I cannot believe I actually have four of them now but it is the Furla Julia bag. I um, became acquainted with this bag a few years ago. Um, I believe the first one I bought is actually this one. It's this beautiful kind of um, rosy light pink color it's really really pretty I was looking for like a pale pink because um, I didn't have anything like that in my handbag collection and I'm just gonna take out the chain and show you um, the full detail of what the bag looks like I keep these stuffed with their little dust bags and um, I came across this in a Saks off fifth and I have proceeded to buy all of the ones I'm gonna show you there um, it seems like every time I go in there I end up picking one up because I just love them so much and they're a great price point. Um, it's a really cute little mini bag. I typically wear this crossbody. Absolutely love it. It comes with this beautiful strap, but you can remove it and just carry it as a clutch. And um, absolutely love this little bag. So the second one I purchased is actually the black one. and absolutely love this bag as well. It does not have feet like the Furla Metropolis does, um, but it is, like I said, a lower price point and um, still a beautiful bag. The next Furla Julia I purchased is this beautiful sort of taupey gray one. This one is a bit of a chameleon. It works with almost any colors um, in my wardrobe and it's absolutely stunning. And the last of my Furla Julias, which is the newest to me, is this beautiful beige one. This one, I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera, but it almost Almost looks like it's two-toned. It's got little specks of um, white mixed in with the beige and somewhat of a little darker beige as well. So um, it really, again, is a chameleon, but I loved that it was a much warmer tone sort of beige color than this one. I'll hold them up together so you can see. Um, this one definitely pulls more cool, while as this one is more warm toned. And I was looking for the perfect beige bag for the summertime since I have incorporated a lot of beige colors into my wardrobe. And this almost looks like um, like a beigey linen when you see it up close, but it was really different. And I think this will be the last of my Julia's in my collection. I think I've got the colors sort of covered. Next up, I've got a couple of Teddy Blake Eva bags to show you. This is the, I believe it's the 11 inch Eva in the gray vintage leather. And um, this leather is made to look old, but it does also scuff and scratch really easily. I actually put those marks on there myself, but because like I said, it's made to look old, um, I kind of can appreciate the um, sort of weathered look of this bag and I think it's absolutely beautiful. And my other Eva is in the black, um, I think this is called the Stampato leather. It is a grained leather um, that Teddy Blake does, again, with the four feet on the bottom. I have just tied my Louis Vuitton uh, bandeau on here. I love the way that looks on the handle. This one has a little dent in it. Um, it came like that. Um, it's something that really shows up a lot on camera, but you don't see it so much in person. So it really doesn't bother me, but I absolutely love this bag and um, I'm really happy to have it in my collection. My next bag is from J. Crew, and this is the Signet bag, and I believe this is the front of the bag, although I always carry it this way. I have it in the leopard print with the um, 
black leather and the gold hardware. This is a great crossbody bag, very similar in size, in layout, everything to the um, Gucci Soho Disco. And this bag has seen a lot of um, use. It's been everywhere with me and I absolutely love it. Next few bags are all from Banana Republic. I shop quite a bit at Banana Republic, I would say out of everything in my wardrobe and um, everything I own, I definitely have the most from Banana Republic, partially because there is one really close to where I live, so it makes it really convenient to shop there, and partially just because I love their clothing, I love the quality of everything I've purchased from Banana. I think they're at a really good price point, especially when you can get things on sale, um, and I just am a huge Banana shopper. So I've got a lot of bags from them as well. So this is just a soft leather tote bag. Um, really plain and simple. It's got just a snap closure. I got this many years ago, so I'm sure they do not sell this, but they always have some version of a tote bag. It's got um, this little slip pocket in the back that just says Banana Republic. And this is just a great slouchy tote, great for every day, great to take with me on trips. I had taken this um, quite a bit with me before I got my Longchamp um, Le Pliage. You can actually kind of fold this up um, and put it into your luggage and it's just a great all-around bag that I think will never leave my collection. My next handbag from Banana Republic is this one. It is a tote bag that is in sort of a more vertical shape. I love this bag. It's got um, a long strap on it so you can wear it crossbody or on your shoulder. Um, the inside does have a zip but I usually keep it unzipped. It's got a nice little slip pocket and this is made of this beautiful um, Italian leather that smells delicious and actually is so soft and beautiful but yet keeps its shape quite nicely and I absolutely love this bag. My next bag from Banana Republic is a new purchase this year. This is a uh, another Italian leather cross body bag in this beautiful cognac color. I absolutely love this bag. I fell in love with it. It looks like a vintage um, kind of shape and it's got this little card holder in the front and then um, when you open it up, it looks like you would have to open, you can pull this out, um, but you don't need to do that to actually open the bag. It is just a snap closure. And inside you've got a few credit card slots and um, the rest of the bag is just leather inside. It's absolutely stunning. And again, for the price point, you cannot go wrong with the Italian leather bags from Banana Republic. My next handbag from Banana Republic, and I think um, I should have mentioned the last two bags I talked about, I think are still available as well as this one. This is um, a tote bag. I can't remember the name of it. I'll try to find the names and put them down below. Um, as you can see, it's a little beat up since it's been sitting in my closet not getting used. I picked this up primarily because it's just so plain and simple. It has the grained leather and um, inside I loved the layout of this bag. It's very similar to the Chanel GST. It's got the center pocket that zips and then a compartment in the front, a compartment in the back. Um, and there is a little slip pocket in the back as well. So great organization. It holds a laptop. It's a great bag for when you need to carry a laptop and um, all your other stuff and you don't want anything that sort of screams designer. So really, really love this bag. My next Banana Republic handbag I have had for over 10 years and has gone with me on multiple trips. It's been to Europe. It's been all over the United States. It's been to multiple island locations in the Caribbean. I love Love this little bag it is just this little crossbody really tiny um, this was sort of like my walk before I ever knew about such a thing as a walk because it's so small it really only carries your essentials in the main pocket it's got a little um, magnetic closure there and then there is a small zipper pocket here and then a snap pocket on the top where you can put more stuff in and I actually have something in there that's sort of interesting. Oh, 2017, 30 seconds to Mars. <laughs> um, oh, it was the Muse concert. Okay, so we went to see Muse, 30 seconds to Mars, and I still have the ticket in there. But um, anyway, it's a great concert bag as well and love that little thing. It has gone with me, like I said, all over the place and is something that will never leave my collection. And my last handbag that I picked up at Banana Republic actually comes from August of LA, which is um, they do sell quite a few things now at Banana Republic that are not their own brand, but um, I absolutely love. And this is one of them. This is this beautiful leopard clutch. 
and I have used this not only as a clutch but also as just a pouch inside of my handbags when I'm looking to take a lot of stuff with me more than would fit in some of my other ones. Um, it has this really nice little leather um, slip pocket in the inside and it carries a ton. The next handbag in my collection is this little round canteen bag. I picked this up from Urban Outfitters I think last year and I love the design of this. It just opens like so. Um, I do like that this one has this little fabric inside to catch everything so that when you open it things don't fall out. And this is just a little crossbody that I wear in the summertime. I think it looks great with maxi dresses and pretty much everything in the summer. And I didn't want to pay a lot of money. I think I got this for around $50 and I absolutely love it. And the other straw handbag in my collection is this little tote bag. I picked this up from Zara and I absolutely love this. It um, is really cute, again, with maxi dresses or just if you're going to the beach as um, something to hold your essentials and your cover up. And I just absolutely love this. This bag. And finally, the last of my handbags comes from H&M. It's this little faux croc crossbody that um, just has two little inside compartments. This is great for when you um, want something really understated, very minimal, and aren't carrying a lot and don't want to take like a designer handbag like a walk or something, but this actually carries even more than a walk. This is great for, again, concerts, um, for going out at night somewhere when you don't want to carry a designer handbag. Um, just a really Really cute little functional bag that I picked up for definitely under $20. So that is it for all of my other handbags in my collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I will see you all soon in my next one. Have a great day. Bye.